So we are back with welcome to the class. We are in continuation with measurement of national income. And in this we finished with value added method or the product method of measuring national income. And in this we are going to do the second me method that is the income method of measuring national income or calculating national income. So in this what we do is we divide the entire economy into the three sectors first of all. That is step one, as I'll just put up and you will see that. And secondly, then we find out, we we'll, we'll segregate all the incomes into wages, rent, interest, profit. So how do we do that? We Wages and salaries and cash in kind and any social security contribution by the employers, that comes under compensation of employees. So employees have been compensated by what? Wages and salaries. So this is known as compensation of employees and then we have what is known as in the third step we go on to operating surplus. Now what is operating surplus? It is the incomes that come from rent, interest and profit. This is how we will calculate rent, interest and profit. So that is under the heading operating surplus and then what we have is known as mixed income of the self-employed so in that we calculate the incomes that are generated by the self self-employed people and then we if we sum them up we come to a national aggregate of uh, that is domestic product national that is domestic income net domestic ndpfc net domestic product at factor cost ndpfc so that is domestic income and once we find once we add up compensation of employees operating surplus and mixed income of the self-employed we get the domestic income and to this ndpfc if we add net factor income from abroad which we calculate as factor income from abroad and factor income to abroad so if we add up net factor income from abroad, we get what is known as national income aggregate, which is NNPFC. <coughs> so this is for you to see. So now what is this? Factor incomes are payment made by production units to factor owners for the services rendered by them to these units. So factor owners, for factor owners such payments are factor incomes. So these are factor incomes. Okay. So uh, who are the, so we know there are four categories of factors of production, land, labor, capital and entrepreneur. So accordingly there are four categories of factor payments. And what are they? One is compensation of employees. Second is rent and royalty. Third is interest and profit and further we categorize them into three parts again one is compensation of employees second would be the three four and five that is two three and four that is rent and royalty interest and profit we categorize it as operating surplus okay and the third one is well, the next one is what is known as mixed income of the self-employed. So it's very interesting. Just let's see first. So step one, what do we do? We first recognize what are these industrial units. We divide them into industrial units. That's just step one. That is, what are the three sectors? Primary, secondary and tertiary. And the second, the second step would be to calculate all the incomes given to the labor so that is known as compensation of employees so it's a very comprehensive term so it includes all types of remunerations according accruing to the labor in exchange for the work rendered to the production units an employer gives remuneration to employees in cash in kind and by contributing to, to social security schemes benefiting the, the employees so compensation of employees is just not periodic payment of wages in cash it also includes benefits like say rent free accommodation or free conveyance 
interest-free loans, contribution to insurance schemes, bonus, and, and the like. So if we, if we define compensation of employees, you can define it as uh, the total remuneration in cash in kind and in the form of social security contribution by employers payable by an enterprise to the employees in return for the work done by them during an accounting period. So based on that, we see that there are two components. The first component is wages and salaries. So again, wages and salaries have two parts, that is cash and kind, cash wages and kind wages. That is salaries in cash include daily, weekly or monthly payments in cash, including allowances as house rent, conveyance allowance for travel to work, to and fro from work, bonus, commissions, tips, etc. Now in kind, what is work wages and salaries? They are goods and services provided by the employees to employees for satisfaction of wants of employees.